Hello, my name is Reeves Zero. I graduated from Eo High School in June. You know what I'm saying? It was a beautiful moment. I'm actually only the third person in my family to graduate high school. First person in my family to go to college. Like, show of hands, who do you think my college right now? See, I'll be out better man than me, because I promise you, when I was in middle school, that was the last thing in my mind. It's crazy, because by show of hands, like, that's way more than around my time. Like, if we was to focus on that, if we were focused on the wrong thing, focused on biggest issues, females. But I think right now, it might be all cool to get yeah, let me do this, let me do that. You know, what that added me up with a 0.91 GPA, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't even have a 1.0, why? I was so caught up going in the hallways and skipping class just to go see what's up with her in the hallway. You know what I'm saying? So right now, it might seem cool, but what I didn't have in my mind was the, was the long-term picture, which is my future. Y'all set up today in a society where Everybody's telling y'all what to do, especially in the position y'all in right now. Y'all about to get seventh grade, right? Next year, y'all gonna be eighth graders. By the time you know, y'all gonna be freshmen in high school. At that point, you're supposed to carry yourself like a grown man. And right now, it's, it's, it's okay to you know, call somebody stupid or retarded in a couple years. I'm like, it's for that. It's different. You know what I'm saying? And I know we all, different. we all black and brown children. And people already living at y'all like, y'all statistic. Who's heard that before? A statistic. When I was in middle school, everybody was telling me, gee, don't be a statistic. I'm like, what is that? They don't want, they don't want to see y'all go to college. Y'all not, not set up in a, in a world where they want to see y'all go to school. Like, I tell you to tell you this. All the decisions you make today, like right now, starting like, you got to go to class in like 15 minutes. Yeah. Think about what it is that you're doing in that class. If you're doing the same thing when you get there in high school, I know if y'all get an F, in the class, in the high school, you don't graduate. Because it's different once you get to high school. It's not about um, did I get a, a B in this class or a C in this class, it's about credits. You know what I'm saying? So if you get an F in the class, you don't get the credit. So what does that mean? If you don't get the credit, you do not graduate high school. So you may here take the art class in middle school. Okay, let's say you get an F in the class, but you get a 2.0 GPA. You still graduate middle school, right? Still move on to the eighth grade. You get to high school, you say you're in ninth grade, you take an art class, and you get an F in that class, you will be taking that class until you pass it with at least a 2.0. And if you don't, you will not be graduating high school. It's different. So F right now might be cute, might be funny. Yeah, huh? I forget that class. Do that in high school. Let's see where you end up. You know what I'm saying? When I was in middle school, I didn't have a lot of people to paint the picture like that for me, so I really wasn't even thinking about that. But I'm sitting, here, I'm sitting here telling y'all how it's about to be. And in college, like I'm, I'm, I'm actually proud that you all are thinking about college right now because at the end of the day, that's the move. You get what I'm saying? If you, if you plan on having a better living for you and your family, I strongly suggest going to college right now. I'm, on my, I'm taking a break from the college. I went for a semester at Colorado State University. You know, I came home, but I came home with a plan. You get what I'm saying? Like, I got my first car, and I started my own business. You know what I'm saying? It's called Rare Breed Speaks. Like, what it is is I go around doing what I'm doing now. Another thing too, I really want y'all to sit here and follow this, not because I want attention on, no. Nowadays, we don't have a lot of people trying to send the right message. Everybody want to crank you to food, Blizzy, Trail. I'm hip too, like, I'm, I'm with y'all. I was just in y'all seats like a couple years ago. You know what I'm saying? Are they coming to y'all to speak to y'all? Are they coming to schools for free to let to change y'all lives to try to inspire y'all to do better? Not everybody can be a rapper. As much as y'all let's see everybody on Instagram flexing, towing, and all that, they doing the same thing they've been doing for years now. Still ain't going nowhere. But with education, I'm telling you, that's something that nobody can ever take from y'all. Like education. You know what I'm saying? We can all be hoopers, football players, soccer players, whatever y'all want to be. Baseball players. By injury, boom, you break your ankle. You're done for a whole year. You get what I'm saying? But what, nobody will ever be able to take you out of your mind. Now, I really want y'all to sit here and think about that. Like, who is it that you're actually looking up to? You get what I'm saying? They just reflect. Because at the end of the day, y'all the future. Whether y'all know or not, y'all probably can't think about that right now. In a couple years, y'all gonna be doing what it is that I'm doing. Y'all gonna be talking to youngest, be like, look, I had somebody you know, tell me at a young age, da da da. And y'all just gonna pass the message on me. So that's why I really want y'all to reflect and just think about what it is that you're doing today, what decisions you're making today, and how it's gonna impact your future.
It's either going to be in a negative way or in a positive way. You either going to be dead or locked up, like they used to tell me in middle school. You're going to keep doing what you're doing, or you're going to be somebody successful. You're going to be helping out your mom, your pops, whoever it might be. We get this sentence for y'all. Open it up for y'all. Anybody got any questions? Be shy. Ask, I don't care what it is. Ask any question. I don't know it all, but I know a lot. I have you know, a lot of adults in here who know more than me. Uh, you do any drugs? When I was when I was younger, I used to smoke weed. You know what I'm saying? Keep it real with you, but now I stopped that one because I started hooping like real hard in high school. So I was like, that's going to affect the negative. You know what I'm saying? But stay away from that. Like, stay away from that life. I'm telling you. The high school? No, no, I mean like when you were younger. Did you have good luck? Uh. We used to have strawberry milk at one point, but they took it away like six years ago. But then, I mean, I, breakfast, we, we, breakfast used to be cool, but then when Revolution Foods came, and, I don't know if you remember, they had the little table with the spread, and it was oh, like yeah, real right. food. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. It was like a buffet, basically. It was like, that system. Did you think high school was bad in middle school? Yeah, I was, see, I was in the space where I was really ready for high school. Like, remember, I was, I was 16 years old in eighth grade. I was in ninth grade. I was 15 and 8. So I was always a bit older than everybody around me. So when I got to high school, it was like I was able to connect with all my old folks. You know what I'm saying? So you get a little bit more independent in terms of like what it is that you can do. Like they don't make you line up to go to your next class. Little stuff like that is what I was ready for. I was tired of someone being you know, on like being on my back, telling me what to do all the time. Like so that's why I said high school is better. Plus you just it's more females. It was like older females. That's, that that motivates you, like just girls, a lot of girls. Yeah, it's really cool. Let me tell you about that. <laughs> <laughs> you were saying, child. I, like, I started when I was in middle school. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is what I tell you. I was worried about the wrong thing. What I'm gonna tell you about that is protect yourself. I know people who got pregnant in the ninth grade. They're 15 years old, 14 years old with a child. Like. Think about that. All right, can we get a few little hands? Thank you, y'all. All right, if you got your phone right now, I'll give, give you one minute to take it out, too. I'll give you one minute to take it out, too. Okay, this is right here. Take this. How can you get it? Oh, I'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. 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 Oh, my God. I mean, you Get to see your mom, your pops, your aunts, your brothers. You know what I mean? 